There are so many SEO tools today that it's difficult to figure out what's unique between them. This right here is DinoRank and they are showing you keyword opportunities, cannibalization and much more. They're really doing a lot to create a unique SEO tool. So let's put it to the test. So this is DinoRank and DinoRank has a lot of the common SEO modules like position tracking, SEO audit, keyword research and so on. But they also have three very interesting modules which we'll go through a little bit later. To begin with here we have a simple dashboard with an overview. And what I like overall about DinoRank is that they pull through with their theme. So you can see that they have a dinosaur up here as their theme. And if you change the language, then you can see there is a hand from a dinosaur, which means that they take their theme all the way through their platform. I really like that. But let's jump right into position tracking here. This is very simple. You have probably seen it before, but if you have not, then position tracking is where you enter a keyword and then DinoRank checks on Google, where does your website lay on that specific keyword? So you can see here I have four keywords and I'm ranking for two of them and the two others I'm not ranking. So for these feed hive review and niches review, you can see that I'm ranking number one on the first one and 21 on the second one. This module is very simple, though I'm really missing to be able to see what is it that I'm ranking for. Is it a featured snippet? Is it an image? Is it a video or something fourth? Right now I can only see that I'm ranking and then if they could add like a screenshot or something similar so I could see for myself to confirm that my position is as they say or to see how does it look like. But overall it is working, it is showing my keywords and we can also do something interesting over here. So if you click on see competition then here you'll be able to see what other domains are ranking for your keywords. And this is really interesting because sometimes it can be difficult to find your competitors. So of course, the more keywords that these specific websites rank for, the closer of a competitor to you it is. So I really like this idea, super interesting. And that is something unique about DinoRank. I haven't seen in the same way before. The SEO audit is my least favorite module within DinoRank because it has the issue that almost all other SEO tools has that has an SEO audit module. And that is that it's just highlighting the issues. It is not telling me how to fix them. It is still Ahrefs, which is the best SEO audit in my opinion. And I've previously made a video of how you can use it completely free. You can watch it up here. But within the SEO audit here, you can see that we down here have all of the issues. So if I click on status, for instance, then I can filter by 400 errors, 300 errors and 500 errors. So within 300 errors, I have 27 issues right now. Within titles, I do have some duplicate titles. I do not have any with no title and so on. So you have to open each of these sections and it requires a lot of clicks in order to see the different things. On the positive side, it also makes you focus on one error at a time. You can also download it as a PDF report and then you can do it yourself or you just track the project. So you rerun this SEO audit. This is usually done when you have made some fixes and then you try it again. But if they could add some solutions to all the issues, they would really increase the value of having this SEO audit. Because overall, what they do very well within DinoRank is explaining the different modules. So here you can see that they are stating that if the following summary table, you can see a quick sketch of some of the most relevant on-page SEO metrics for your website. So now you know more or less what it's about. Interesting module, but it requires more work. So now let's move on to the prominence module. This is again something unique because here you can enter a keyword and then it will tell you what types of words do you need to use. But I need to be honest here, it is not working very well. So I did an analysis up here for best AI copywriting. I want to rank for that. And when I scroll down, then it's telling me that I need to use words like the and content for and so on. Phrase.io has something similar, but they do it a lot better where they show more keyword structured. Here it is just common words that doesn't make sense that I have to use these because of course I will use these words 
but these words will not make me rank for this specific article or this specific keyword here. What I would like to see is more stuff like you need to get this amount of backlinks or you need to write about these subjects, not these types of words here. So this module has potential, but it really needs work. You can up here filter a little bit. So you say that you only want to see three word sentences. And here we get some more relevant words, except for this one, for instance, you can use again, not super relevant, but if they improve this and they make it to the same standard at phrase.io and then they add some more statistics, it could be a really interesting tool, but right now it is not really that useful. Now the keyword research is a module we also see often within multiple and the recent SEO review I did of SEO Diddy, they had a very thorough database of keywords because the problem is often that with keyword research, either they only have content or data on short form keywords. And then the keyword volume that we see, the amount of people who search on that specific keyword, it's not precise and it will never be precise because there are so many different search engines and it's only the each individual search engine that actually know the keyword search volume in this case but let's try and enter a long tail keyword and see how this will go. So I have entered best project management software for freelancers. That's quite a long phrase and they do have data on it. So here we can see the trend. How often is this search? And again, take this with a grain of salt because this is just estimates. We can also see the competition, the higher competition, the more difficult it is to rank on this specific search phrase. And then we have CPC cost per click. So you can see that it's very expensive if you want to run ads on this specific keyword, but they are also showing relevant or close to keywords. In this case, it is Trello. It is best project management software free. So here it is showing what people are also searching for. And this is also very, very interesting because we can still see the trend. We can see how often is this search again, this is just estimates. So I think overall, this is great. But if I take a different phrase and search for best AI copywriting for freelancers, then they have no data. So on some long tail phrases, they do have data on others. They don't. And again, remember the volume searches, take them with a grain of salt. You can use them as a guideline because here best AI copywriting for freelancers, there are definitely people searching on this, but now let's move on to the dino rank internal PR. When I first saw this module, I was really confused because you get a lot of dots and within each dot we get what the URL is, the page rank and the distance to home. So how many times do I need to click from the home page to reach this page? So you can see the bigger this specific circle is, the higher the page rank is. And I think this is interesting for page rank, but this view up here is really just confusing for me. So what I would do and what I would recommend you is to go down here to just have this table view. Here we can see our dino rank internal PR. We can see the distance from home, how many clicks from the home page. We can see the status, which should just be 200. If you want to see it in the graph, then you can click view and graph. And then they will show you up here that this is the page because apparently down here, we cannot see the page rank. I think they should definitely add that. So the dino rank internal PR shows how much of your entire website does this specific page take as a page rank. So your entire website is 100%. And then you can see here, all of these percentages down here, that is how much that your specific pages take. This module, I didn't find super relevant. I haven't used it a lot, but I can see some interesting things in having a page rank because the higher page rank, the more relevant your page is for the specific search phrase that you have optimized your article for, but that's about that. So now let's move on to internal linking. And again, internal linking, they have the same up here, a little bit different graph, but here you can see just a huge tree of links where so you can see how they're linking together. Again, this is impossible to figure out. And the bigger website you have, the more difficult it will just be. So down here they have a table, but we just see the same things as before. So I think if this was me and I was working with dino rank, I would merge these two together because it doesn't make sense to have these two split it up like this. And then what find a different way to see these internal links. Maybe I could click on a specific page and then I could see what does this page internal link to. 
because you can see again when I click on it, then up here I just have a huge skeleton of different pages and I can't really figure out where every page is, where it's going and so on. We do down here have all the pages that are linking to this specific one, but we do also have a lot of duplicate data here and it's saying that the about me page is also redirecting to the about me page and so I definitely understand where they're going with this and it is an interesting module but it needs to work especially from a UX point of view. What would be even more interesting with this module would be if they suggested internal links. If they told me that this link you could really benefit if you link to this specific page because they have some similarities. This is something Link Whisper is really good at. But for now you can just see how your internal links are. You can also integrate your Google Search Console with DinoRank. And this is one of the interesting modules because here we can analyze position keywords or we can see keyword opportunities. I really like this idea. I really like that they show me keywords that I can rank for, though it's not working very well. Here you can see that it's telling me that I have an opportunity to rank for right Sonic. I do already rank for this, but it is telling me that I can improve my position. So you can see the tips down here, what I can do for my specific article. It's telling me to include the right Sonic and title tag in H1, some H2 and so on. I think Google is so smart now that these doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense to do. You just need to focus more on your article, make it more about the product, make it better. Look at the competition, what are they doing? And it could be interesting if DinoRank could analyze the competition and maybe find some similarities that they are doing in order to rank higher because these are just very generic on-page audit tips that I can do and it doesn't really matter that much to be honest. But I really like where they're going. We can also analyze position keywords. So if I enter my own URL for a specific article, then you can see that SEO Diddy is ranking for multiple keywords. I can see clicks, impressions, and average position. Now all of this data comes directly from Google Search Console, so you can also just go in there and look for it and see it in there. But what I really like is that I get just a better overview of how my specific article is ranking, where the clicks are coming from, and how people are searching in order to click on my article. For instance, down here they're searching for data-driven SEO and that's because I added that both to my URL but also to the title of this specific video. So that's great to see that I get some impressions but they're not clicking because it's not a lot of relevance to data-driven SEO maybe or it's something else. So I could work on that part at least. But I really like this module. I think it has a great potential because it is just making Google Search Console easier to go through, understand the data and use it. But now let's move on to another of the unique modules and that is cannibalization. Because when you build up a website at some point then you reach a stage where you just have so many articles that it's so easy to try and steal the different keywords from your own articles and what you do not want to is to compete against yourself. There are a lot of competitors already out there. So the cannibalization module here is showing you what specific articles are fighting for the same keywords. So either you need to change the secondary article completely, remove it, or maybe make some small tweaks so it doesn't focus on the same ones. For me, it's a little bit difficult because I do product reviews. So there will just be some products that are ranking for the same. But as long as there are some unique keywords in between, then it's good enough for me. But this is great. You can see again, we can get some tips here where it's telling me that I can prioritize this URL, I can extract the content for this keyword, I can add the keyword SEODT roadmap and so on. So it's giving me again some tips, but these are still on-page tips. I would love for them to take it a step deeper and give me some more analysis of what my competition is doing and what I can do to get both of these articles to rank higher but on different keywords. These are some tips you can use, but they're still very low level. Now the last unique module is the ranked keywords. So here you can enter your own domain or a competitor domain and then you can see what keywords they are ranking for. So in this case I have added my own domain and here I can see a little bit more than 30 keywords that I'm ranking for. I am ranking for a lot more but they are only showing 30. 
I would really like to have a full list of keywords. They can just make it on multiple pages, but it would help me better understand what keywords I'm ranking for and what pages are ranking for that keyword. Because right now it is just showing me the bare minimum of how many keywords. And the bigger your website is, the more keywords you will naturally rank for. But this is great if you have a competitor that you want to see what they are ranking for. Then you can go in and enter the competitor's website and then see all the keywords and then get inspired. Take some of those keywords and build your own content for those keywords. That is what makes this module super unique. Now the second last module is thin content detection. So here you can say that I want to see for entire August right now, all of the pages that are thin on content. So you can see I have some reviews up here. I have my roadmap page, I have my privacy policy and so on. So it is telling me basically to fill in more content, make them more about the keyword you're ranking for and so on. This is just great, but it is also showing me a lot of pages like tag pages, categories. Maybe I should fill out my categories, but at least the tag pages and some of the other pages like the page page, like the pagination page, I wouldn't spend time on filling out data for that because I'm not ranking for that. So a filter option here could be really great. But other than that, I like the idea. It's great to have an overview of the pages we need to rank for, but a filter option again would really make it even more interesting. But the last module is external link management, and this is not super relevant. This is an MVP of making a backlink module. So here you can enter your URLs that are linking to you that you know of, and then DinoRank will automatically monitor them for you. So if you at some point lose the link, they will let you know so you can get it back or you can act on it. But in all other SEO modules and SEO tools we have seen, then this is just an automatic feature. We do not have to spend time on it. The different SEO tools like Ahrefs, SEMrush, all of these tools, they just crawl all of this data for us and then they just show us our backlinks basically. So this is, I think it's a great MVP to start with, but it needs a lot of work. This needs to happen automatically. We don't want to spend time on going in and plotting in all of our backlinks. But as I mentioned in the beginning, they have pulled through the entire theme of dino rank and they could even add more to say that this should be a dinosaur telling each section what it is about. But one thing that I'm a little bit against and that is that they have it in multiple languages. Personally for me, this only works if you're very strict with how you do these languages. Because the problem right now is we still see in this case, Spanish words, and I have everything in English. So you need to be very strict if you're using these wordings or if you have multiple languages, otherwise just keep it in English. It's very, very simple and you don't have to think about translation. That being said, it is a very cheap tool to get started compared to the other tools I have reviewed and I have used, and especially compared to the big ones, Ahrefs and SEMrush. So I think DinoRank is a great way to get started. They have unique modules I haven't seen before with the cannibalization, the organic traffic and the visibility and competence. So there is definitely some potential in there. I just really hope that they will focus on the modules and then make them better. Because when I look at the roadmap right now, then they're focused on making an AI copywriter to create content. They're focused on generating new modules, creating new features. And I just really want them to focus on their modules right now because they are on a great path, but they need more work, more data. They just need more functionality because right now it's great, but we are not there yet. So I want to give DinoRank three and a half stars. I think it has so great potential, but I'm a little bit worried for the roadmap where they're taking DinoRank. It has so much potential to be a great SEO tool. And with the price right now, with the modules we get, I think it's fair but if they just add more work into the modules they have already now, they will really have a unique SEO tool that has modules we don't see in all the other SEO tools. But if you want to watch the SEO daily review that I've mentioned a couple of times, then you can watch it up here. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.